good Friday to you. We're going to look at the latest from the National Weather Service first, and then we're going to look at some of the numbers, and we're going to focus on specifically in this video our system that's moving into the mid-atlantic it's moving through parts of illinois indiana ohio also kentucky today it looks like it's a little bit further south than last night if i had to tell you what i see that's what i'm seeing so i think we've shifted south maybe 50 miles or so and that's we're already seeing the a result of that by the national weather service pushing those winter weather advisories as far south as pretty much all of New Jersey, with the exception of far northwest and northeast New Jersey. So north of Newark, once you get up toward New York City, we're talking about lower amounts. Last night I said zero to an inch or so. I still think that's pretty close. Once you get south of Newark, get down into New Jersey, we're looking at a couple of inches. Winter weather advisories for Philadelphia. And I've said this last night, watch west of Philadelphia. So get up into the mountains uh, of western Maryland. Here west of D.C. towards Leesburg, up towards Martinsburg, over toward Elkins, we're feeling solid about the snow here. I mentioned this last night. I think somebody gets more than eight inches of snow back here. Weather.gov is where you need to get the latest. These will likely be upgraded or settled on later today where we're seeing the winter storm watches from Hagerstown down to Winchester, all the way down to Harrisonburg here in Rockingham County, but down to the south of that, just to the south, I think the line is right here at Stanton, over to Charlottesville. Winter weather advisory is here again. That shift to the south, I think, is the reason behind the, the idea that they're going to go ahead and push those winter weather advisories, even south of Fredericksburg, but not to Richmond. So let's time the snow out. As we move through the day today into overnight, the snow moves into the mid-Atlantic, into D.C. We may start as some rain here for places like Charleston, Huntington, even in parts of northern Kentucky, and then we flip over to snow. As we move through the overnight hours, that snow starts to build into parts of southwest Virginia, southeast Kentucky, places like the Tri-Cities probably starting as rain, ending as a little bit of snow, but the accumulating snow will be to your north and east into the mountains and up into West Virginia. So Pocahontas County, Elkins, here into the northern panhandle of West Virginia. That's going to be the sweet spot. Also, Western Maryland and Southern Pennsylvania. Watch out on these areas as well. Maryland picking up on the snow. I would say pretty much the entire state at this point. Last night, I thought the southern part of the state here could be left out, but I think you're in the game now. Also, Atlantic City, I think you're in the game too. Winter weather advisories have been pushed into these areas. Across Virginia, Fred Fredericksburg, a couple of inches here over to Charlottesville, I think we'll see some light accumulations, but that dividing line is so close. You get down towards Louisa County, you get down towards Enrico County into Richmond. I think we're just pretty much a slushy coating or so, especially the further south you go. So Richmond, not a big snow for you clearly, but you could see a few flakes as everything wraps up. But once we see the cold air, it starts to warm up. We're fighting daytime. So here we go into 10 a.m. by this time, also the system moving to the east. We're still seeing the snow going early in the morning, but by afternoon, it's pretty much gone outside of the mountains. But behind this, some lake effect snow possible, not a lot, uh, and also a few upslope snow showers into the Appalachians, and then things really start to settle down uh, as we head into the evening hours. Here's a look at your snow totals from the National Weather Service. Again, the heaviest amounts back here, a good widespread two to four. Some places could see easily six inches, especially as we head up into the higher elevations. D.C. looks like a solid three to five inches, maybe even six inches locally. Once you head west of the mountains, you head out towards, once you head west of the city, you get out toward Haymarket and you start heading up into the mountains here, over towards Front Royal, especially into the Winchester, uh, snow possible two to four, maybe even a local amount of six inches. And then across Western Maryland, Southern Pennsylvania, even West Virginia, somebody's getting more than six to eight, maybe even locally higher amount. The NAM model reflecting very similar numbers. This is looking a little bit further to the West and you can see uh, Columbus. I think you're looking at a good one to three. Some places could see two to four. And uh, I wouldn't be shocked if we get a two to four. Over toward Indianapolis, I think you're also in the game here for a couple of inches today. Again, here's that boundary on the Southern side of it with uh, those numbers really getting pushed back once you head across central Kentucky. The European also on board with this very similar idea. Of course, the numbers may vary just a little bit. And then once this system moves through, I think it's interesting to watch. We could get stormy and stay stormy as we head into March. More details to come on this, guys. Thanks for checking it out. I'll see you next time.